What is popping in your lives, guys? M Racing 89 here today, bringing you guys race number four at the Bristol Motor Speedway, uh, covered in dirt. So, taking a look at our standings after last race, we had a little bit of a shakeup. We had Donnie Shots winning, which he was able to pull away from us. He's pulled up in a 12 point lead versus the 10 or the two point lead that he had before. Carson Macedo moved up to third. Basically, the same five guys are in the top five here. He is 20 points behind, so he moved up two spots. David Gravel is 22 points back. He finished 11th, so that really dropped him back as he was tied for the lead with Donnie Shots after race two. And Brad Sweet is also 22 points back, so those guys are tied for fourth. So a good shakeup in points right now. I mean, for us, we're staying in second. We just need to win a race, and I'm feeling really confident about Bristol. I think we're going to be able to get it done, so let's get into it. All right, guys, getting into qualifying here. Car isn't handling perfect for me right now. Just got to get back into a rhythm. I haven't raced this track in a little bit, but I'm, I'm pretty quick around here. I feel like I can do pretty well. I do well online, so should be able to do well against the AI and roll through these turns good. That was a good turn for us. Turn one wasn't great. That's a decent lap. Not what we want, but it's decent. That was not good at all. Not very smooth through turn one and two as of now. But good through three and four. Hit the wall there a little bit. 18, oh my gosh, never mind. Okay, we are not looking good. So, see what we can do. That's first lap is what it is. First side, I didn't really practice at all. So, heat six starting third. See what we can do from there. Hopefully pull out a W. All right, guys, here we go. Starting off our heat race in third. As you know, the goal is to get into the top two, as always. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, not the best start here, but we stay in line with Kane. And McFadden here. We're going to slide up in front of Casey here. That's good. That's good. Hopefully we can chase down McFadden. I, I think we're faster than what we showed qualifying. I think qualifying, I was just a little off, a little rusty. Got to get back in the groove and swing of things around this racetrack. But other than that, I, I think I should be better as I hit the wall. and cannot run through these turns like I normally do at all. We got Kane right up behind us, I assume. Whoever's behind us will be right there chasing us down. But that's all right. Just try and rip the top here if we can. And, uh, see what we can do. Not not a great start. Man, I am, like I said in qualifying, I am not good in turns one and two at all. Three and four, I'm, I'm pretty okay. I feel like I'm not bad, but turns one and two, I am just not good at entering the turns at all. There it is again. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta figure it out. I think I'm just putting too much steering input there. A little too late, maybe. I think at this point it's probably just mental. Close the gap to McFadden there, but second place, we're in the dash, that's all we can ask for. I think we'll be starting 12th, because there are six heat races here, so we're guaranteed to start in the top 12, and I think we'll be able to pass some guys and get up towards the front, just when we start in the future, we're not too far behind, so see what we can do. All right, getting into the dash, starting in last place in the dash, that's all right. We've got plenty of time to work our way up there and, and see what we can do. Plenty of cars in front of us. Man, I'm just really rough in the turns one and two there it's not ideal but honestly we can let these guys kind of spread out and then start picking away at them so we don't really get into anything there got past your foss for one place gonna slide up on the inside into a gas there that was that was definitely a threading the needle move for me let's we'll see what we can do advancing in here behind hod and shield mcfadden we couldn't really catch mcfadden in the heat race but i think we're a little faster than him i think i just Got to figure out turns one and two. That is awful. I cannot handle turns one and two at all. If you see me keep adjusting, my chair keeps leaning back because I'm the this track's putting me on the edge of my seat. Actually, I guess the back of my seat. That's why I'm pushing it back further away from the mic. So try to stay close to the mic this race and notice that it was a little quiet at the end of the feature. Oh, we got a wreck in front of us. We got a wreck in front of us. All right. So we passed, passed two cars there. We were up five positions since the start. Starting on the inside. So we'll see if that's a little better or worse than the way we started last time. We started on the outside at the beginning of the dash, so we'll see. I'm not sure how many laps we have left. Two laps to go. I was going to say we were getting towards the end of that race there. So a nice little NASCAR green-white checkered finish here at Bristol. You gotta love to see that. Inside Craig Kenzer here. Craig Kenzer is involved in that wreck, so he should have some damage. So I feel like I should be able to roll by him, and I am. Yep, okay, we got him cleared. Still can't pass McFadden. I mean, I was on him there before that crash, but that happens. Last lap here. Oh my gosh, the car just flipped over my head. I don't know if you guys saw. That was incredible. Oh my gosh, wow. The car just flipped over me there. We're in fifth. We're in fifth. So we're sitting pretty, but I did not expect to see a car go flying over me. Let's see what we can do. If we can get up towards uh, 
where we finish here is where we're going to start the feature. So, I mean, two laps to go. If we can if we can get a win here, we'll be starting on pole, and we could really pull away with this thing. That would be, uh, be ideal. I think we're going to get up to second through this turn, if I can. Nope, nope, nope. Still got Macedo there. So Macedo's a guy we got to watch out for. I haven't really been paying attention to the the championship favorites in front of us. But, I mean, we're ahead of shots, so that's good. Gravel's looking on our inside, I believe, right at the moment. Third place. We're starting the feature in third. That's the best we've ever started. I said I felt good about this track. It's just a bigger track. It's a little bit more forgiving um, than, uh, than the smaller tracks. I mean, Lima Land, if you're not keeping it down on the inside and hitting every mark perfectly, you're not going to be able to do much. Here, it's a little bit more wide open. Got to figure out, as you can see right there, I got to figure out what I'm doing in turns one and two. A little bit too much steering input, I think, but I'll figure it out. And we're rolling. We're rolling right now. So we're just going to keep doing this and uh, hopefully chase down the guys in front of us. Here we go. Getting started here in the A main. Starting in third. This is the best start we've had all season long. We got to take advantage of it and hopefully if we can start pulling away and dominate this race. That would be honestly ideal. And we're going to come down to the inside. We got past Macedo. We got Shuhart on our outside. I'm not sure where he is right now. I'm not going to really look. Just going to. It says we're in first and we are clear. We are clear right now. Zero, I think, or not Zero Paul, Shuhart, different PA guy, right on our bumper still. That's all right, we're pulling away. As long as we can get a win and start pulling away and the points are start closing down that lead with between Donnie shots, um, that'd be ideal. 12 point gap, if I remember correctly, that's yeah, 12 point gap. But just gotta do what we can do here. 25 lap race is one of the longer ones that we've had so far, so keep plucking away. We're gonna hit lap traffic at some point and that's gonna be a little difficult for us, but we'll see what we can do. Smooth sailing as of now. We are putting down absolutely fast lap times at the moment. We are pulling away as so I'm looking on the mini map. Pulling away from the competition. That's what we like to see. It says Donnie shots in second, so that's not ideal for us, but it is what it is. It's, it's better than him being uh, in first and we're in second, so we'll do what we can. You know, if we just got to keep winning some races, see what we can do to uh, close down a championship lead. Still got plenty. I mean, this is only race four or 14, so we got plenty of time left. And that's all we can worry about. All right, getting to halfway here. Ooh, a little contact with the wall. That definitely messed up our arrow there. That's all right, nothing too bad. Catching up the lap traffic halfway through the race. Only 23 cars started this feature. I'm not sure why. Typically, it's like 24 to 26, but whatever. We'll get past AJ Flick here. And Jim Siegel will be on our outside as we start to maneuver through lap traffic. We still have a really big lead. It looks like, looking at the minimap, Logan Schuhart has actually pulled the standings of the lead in one of these. Yeah, there it is. So we have a one, one point, almost one and a half second lead over Logan here. We're getting into lap traffic. Donnie Schatz is in third. That's good. David Gravel is in third. There's also a championship. And then Macedo is in fifth. So solid, solid point stay for us right now. As um, you know, Even if... Uh, David Gravel actually just got by Donnie Shots. I was going to say, if David Gravel could get past Donnie Shots, that would help us out as well, because we don't have to worry about David Gravel as much as we have to worry about Shots, because we're ahead of him. But we're still behind Shots, but this is looking like it's going to be a solid, solid point stay for us as we're able to start plucking away at some lap traffic, and uh, no cautions as of yet, as we're on lap 18. So, sitting pretty right now here at Bristol. One, two, five laps to go. Smooth sailing. Shuhart has closed the... Oh, no. Not smooth sailing anymore. Shuhart is now right on our bumper. You can see I have a tenth of a second lead. All right, we're going to have to focus up here as we get down here. Four to go. Getting to crunch time. Really don't need a caution right now or anything. I didn't need to hit the wall either. That would have been nice, but it is what it is. We're going to have to do whatever we can to try and stay ahead. Keeping the race interesting for you guys. It would have been a little too easy if I just pulled away, right? As I almost lost the car there again, too. Not ideal. I don't want to lose this race at all. I need to just win. There's the other shark racing car right up ahead of us. So hopefully he doesn't hold me up for his teammate. That would not be ideal for us, but... Shuhart actually won one of these events in real life. Um, he won the Friday night race at the Bristol Clash. I think it was called the Bristol Clash. So, one lap to go here. Shuhart is on our tail. We can get our first win here. All we got to do is get through three and four safely. And I think we're going to do it. We did it. We won. We finally won. 
I didn't even pay attention to where Donnie Shots finished. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, caution free race, which is what we wanted. It looks like. Where did Donnie Shots finish? Oh, fourth. I'm blind. Okay, so Shots finished fourth. That's good. I think he's still going to have a little bit of a lead over us because I finished fifth last race and finished first, but I could be wrong. All right, so here's the points. As you can see, we finally got a win there. David Gravel got himself back up in the top three with us. Donnie shots ahead of us only by four points. So we were down by 12. Gained, gained a decent amount there. Gained eight points on him and a win. Finally got a win in the win column. That's what we want to see. Took us a little bit, but we got there. Really a good, good run in the dash put us up there. We didn't have to do much and pretty smooth sailing in the race. So can't be upset with that. All right, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Finally got a first, my first win of the season. That's what we needed. Our next race will be at Kokomo, quarter mile track. So a small track, like I said, gonna have to be a little bit more on it there uh, than today. Today's just a little bit more wide open. And as you saw, I can kind of get away with a little bit more, but there you gotta be really running a consistent line and doing well. I like Kokomo. I like Kokomo a little bit more than Lion Land, even though they're very similar, but I think we'll be doing well. And uh, only four points back from Donnie's shots. So we're putting ourselves in a good place in the championship right now through four races. So we'll see what we can do in race five next and I'll see you guys there.